Anybody else suspicious? Right, okay. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Here's your coffee. You okay? You want to tell me what happened? Come on, mate. At least tell me your name. Stan Moore. Stan. Okay, Stan. Where do you live? Lewisham. Lewisham. Well, can I call anyone? Wife? Family? Tell them you're okay? Cop. What? Cop. I'm a cop. I was a cop before you were born. Knows about the dolphin kick. <laughs> hey, Jack, that was your holiday. Oh, that's fantastic. Got some photos. Oh, yeah, great. Right. She's fantastic, you know. She's smart. She's a good sort, too. Look at that. I mean, you can tell where she gets the good looks from, right? Yeah. Oh, man. What? What's that? was 10 bucks here. It's gone. There's been a lot of theft around here lately. Kids, I'd say. But when I catch them, they'll be held to pay. Yeah. Yep. yep. You keep an eye out for Jack my Jack Pusty, yeah. What, the cop? Yeah? What's going on with you? Yes, she's here with me. Yeah, we're on our way. I get this senior sergeant from Lewiston's been found tied up nude, Darling Street Wharf. Oh, welcome back. What time is it? 7.15. There's a nude cop. You've been ripped off. What have you been doing since I've been away? How'd you end up on the wharf stand? I'm retiring on Friday. I'm retiring on Friday. 42 years. Okay, where'd you been? Ah, oh, a few mates took me to the pub. Uh, the Unity Hall. Well, the Unity shut about midnight, and uh, I was heading for my car. And somebody hit me from behind. I'm like, it. And um, where were your mates at this stage? Ah, oh, gone for a taxi. And you didn't get a look at this guy? No. No, I uh, went down like a sack of, you know. Uh, and he put me in the boot of the car, took me to the wharf. Ah. Cut my clothes off with a knife. <laughs> he, uh, he tied me, tied me up. And um, he stood behind me. And he, uh, he asked me to to tell him things about myself. And then and I felt the knife. He just, he just kept cutting. And I kept talking and talking and talking. I thought if I stop, you know, and uh, 
He said, um, I've shown you what you are. You're nothing. <laughs> I've shown you what you are. You're nothing. Hey, Jack. We found Stan's clothes. He's really done a job on these. He cut the ribbons. Was there anything missing? You know, no. Keys, wallet? No. Nah. It's worth about money. Senior Sergeant Morrow, Balmain's reported your car's all right and your clean uniforms arrived from Lewisham Station. Thank you. Sorry about the station at the moment, it's a bit okay, madness, uh, the game. Oh, yeah, same. Suspicious object. You, uh, you got a shower? Like yeah, 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 I'll show you. Listen, can you remember anything else about this incident, you know, the Rego or the make of the car? Not about last night, but this is voice I, I, I can remember him, this bloke I locked up a few years ago. He had this insinuating tone, Andrade. That's him, Kevin Andrade. All right, man, I'll take this through the sound. Just this one. Yeah. There you go, Kevin Andrade. Convicted of stalking a 16-year-old boy. Oh. How long ago did uh, Stan arrest him? Uh, two years. So he could be after revenge. Indeed he could. Now, here's the address. He was paroled a month ago. All right, we'll bring him in, Helen. Yeah. That's a nice top, that. Oh, oh yeah, no, thanks. Yeah, it brings out your eyes. Oh, shut up. He's taking this. I'm not taking the piss, Alex. You're not allowed to take a compliment. Yeah, it depends on who it's coming from, Michael. Oh, here you go. Thanks. Right. I've been a bit of an old woman about this. Oh, come on, Stan. Nobody thinks that, all right? Oh, when you're my age, everybody thinks it. They all know by now, you know. Thanks, Constable. As quick as you can. Thank you. Who do you mean they? Ah, the Lewisham boys. They'll have all read about it on cops. They'll know every juicy detail. You got nothing to be ashamed of, Stan. No, I got commendations, yeah. years of experience. I got taken out like a rookie. Well, I'm better than that. I'm not going to be remembered as the old bloke who got found naked on the wharf. I'm going to get this bloke, Jack. I'm going to get him whatever it takes. Listen, listen. I got Riley and Sinclair bringing in Kevin Andrade. Okay. Now you up to taking a look at him? Bloody oath, I'm up to it. Oh, let's go. How does a man like you keep his skin so smooth? That's of no importance, Mr. Andre. Now, where were you last night? I was out with a guy. And does this guy have a name? Monica Lewinsky. Do you know a police officer by the name of Senior Sergeant Stan Morrow? Yes, of course. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, Senior Sergeant Morrow was assaulted last night. His assailant said some very particular things to him. Do you mind repeating them for us? Mm -hmm. I'd be delighted. Thank you. Just go down the list, one at a time. Uh, you are nothing, Stanley. <laughs> you nothing, nothing, nothing. So what do you think, Stan? Stanley. You're nothing. Stan. Anything? <laughs> Stan. You wanted me last night. You wanted me. You begged for it. You begged me to tie you up. And then you asked me <laughs> to rip your shirt off. It's him. Let's give some kissing. Tim. Oh, baby. You asked me to take your pants off. Mr. Andre, Mr. Andre. That is enough. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Can you please take a seat? Okay. And just in case you boys are thinking of getting nasty, I can tell you right now. At Roselle Police Station last night. Ten till after one, they were trying to fix me up with some break and enter, which I did not commit either. It's on tape. It's him. It's him. Not as much manpower as we can. Jack, forget. Yep. Andre's telling the truth. Roselle confirmed it. Can't be him. Well, you've been through a lot, Stan. It's a fair mistake. 
I could have sworn it was him that. Oh, Stanley! Hey. Come on. I'll get someone to take you home, Stan. I'm not going home. I've got three days left. Three days to get this guy. And I expect you to keep me informed every step of the way. Stan. Hey, Jack. Yeah, Jack, I just ran a check on assaults involving humiliation. OK, sadly, as you can see, there were quite a few. However, once you throw in the stripping and the verbal abuse, it kind of narrows it down. I've come up with a name here. Florence Bustle. She lives in a retirement village. Two weeks ago, she was assaulted on her way home. She was dragged into the bushes and stripped. Check out the address. Lewisham. Same as Stan's. OK, OK, thanks. Florence. Florence. She's been like this since the attack. She used to be such a feisty woman. Look. Everyday hero. It's a series they do in the local paper. Another of our residents had a bit of a turn. Dropped his cigarette on some papers and Florence was passing by and she saw the smoke and alerted us. If it hadn't been for her, Florence Bustle. I remember this case. It's pretty low act, isn't it? You know, uh, you know, for an old lady. Yeah. Do you think he's the same thing bloke that did me? Maybe. You were uh, both uh, assaulted and stripped. Both live in the same suburb and neither of you were robbed. So. Did he um, ask her to tell him things about herself? Uh, we don't know yet. She was too traumatised to talk. <clears throat> yeah. Well, if you need more men, uh, just let me know. Okay. Thanks. So which one of you blokes is handling the Florence Bustle case? That's Sergeant Costas. He's on his way now, sir. Sergeant Costas? Yes. Sorry, there, mate. Sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. Just had to grab these for the wife. Oh, newborn. Oh, really? What'd you have? Girl or boy? Little girl. Oh, cute. <laughs> Listen, uh, what can you tell us about Florence Bustle? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's awful stuff. We search the area around the bus stop where she was attacked, found right. her clothes, they, they've been ripped to shreds. What else did she say? Uh, only that it was a man, nothing else, and you've probably seen what she's like. Do you, do you think it's the same bloke? Got seen I don't think there's much doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, I guess. Poor old stage young blokes take the piss out of him, you know. I mean, uh, he's probably been in the force a couple of years. Yeah, yeah some blokes don't know when to give up, really. Hey, Jack? Yeah. Look at this. Everyday hero? Yeah, Stan got the kids get out of the tree. Florence was an everyday hero. He is getting his victims out of the paper. I've been doing everyday heroes for the last year. It's a monthly piece. The only condition is you have to live in the district. Right. Um, how do you get to be a hero of the month? They're nominated by our readers. Um, I make a short list and I interview them. Right, we'll need the details of everyone you've selected so far. Yeah, sure. I'll give you the articles as well. You know, um, for a series that's supposed to promote civic pride, we get some real wackos. How do you mean? I mean, once they're nominated, they take it as a personal insult if they don't win. Yeah, OK. Thank you. This one guy here missed out twice in the last few months. When he found out that I picked Stan, he came into the office swearing like a wolfie. He had to get the police. Right. Do you remember his name? Are you kidding? LaRue. Bobby LaRue. OK, here's the list of the everyday heroes for the last year. Like we're looking for to be on that list, so let's keep an eye out when we talk to them. No worries, yep, sure. OK, let's go see Bobby LaRue. Alex? Hey, listen, Alex, yeah. last week I busted this guy selling smack out at an Italian restaurant. You want to try it? Smack? No. Yeah. Not the smack, the restaurant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sounds good. Um, call me later. No worries. I should have won that award. In fact, I should have won it for the last two months. You make a habit of heroism, do you, sir? I do, actually. I reported a shoplifter down at Lewisham Metro last week. And the month before, I reported two hoons loitering down at the bowling club. You to be commended on your vigilance. Yeah, well, I wasn't. Life goes on for some of us. How can I help you? Well, we're investigating a few assaults in this area. We were hoping you could help us. How? Well, We'd like you to come down the station just to answer a few questions. You see that tree? Do you see the tree? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. The council were meant to trim it back from the lines. They didn't. They never do anything. So Bobby LaRue gets up a ladder. It's not his job. 
The ladder gives way. Bobby hits his head. Three months later, Bobby's on Apple. He has crying fits. Sometimes he can't remember who the Prime Minister is. Mr LaRue, we wouldn't take up much of your time. It's... I'd like you to leave. Sir, no one is accusing you of anything. Am I under arrest? No. no. Then I'd like you to leave. No. Right. Okay. Now. Okay. Right Good night. See ya. We'll be talking to you again, Mr LaRue. Look, Stan Morrow yesterday, Florence Purcell about two weeks ago. Eleanor Anastasia, four weeks ago. She was on her way to early mass. Right? She was attacked by a bloke, dragged into an alleyway. Did she get a look at him? Sort of. Uh, wearing jeans, a green shirt. She didn't see his face. He was wearing one of those masks. You know, people wear when they've got hay fever? Yeah. Oh, sir, the Olympic Security Commissioner downstairs about the exclusion zone. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Yep, 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 yep. No worries, Donna. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Keep me informed yeah. on this one. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks, Donna. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Jack, um, he didn't have a weapon, all right? And he didn't ask her to talk. She's young, about 32. Okay. She's an everyday hero. Right. This, uh, this attack wasn't on cops. Did she report it? Come on. She's overweight, Jack. She's too embarrassed. You know, you know OK, three victims. Uh, each attack's more violent than the last, right? I mean, this guy's going to kill someone until people realise they've got to report these attacks, you know? I mean, did we talk to everyone on the list? Uh, no, not everybody. There's one woman I've got to speak. Okay, she gets well, back from Perth right, tomorrow. Well, let's get a fresh start then. Oh. Hey, Mick. Mick. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. The holiday snaps. Look yeah, you know, you showed me your holiday snaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw them. Yeah, there is a similarity. Right, see you later, yeah. guys. Yeah. Listen, no, it's for yeah. dinner. OK, all right. Well, tonight? I didn't think you met tonight. I've got something on. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. I'll look for me. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Cool. Hey, you're on the mate with her, aren't you? <laughs> I don't think so, Jack. You're seeing things. What do you mean? Well, pig's bum. I mean, that wasn't a dinner. That was a date, right? Next you're going to give teddy bears and little hearts. And bunches of I flowers. think you had far too many of those mushrooms in Coffs Harbour. Oh, good morning! Yeah, nah. I knew it was you, you little... Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Oi! 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 What's happened? This is a problem. I found him right from through someone's bag. He had this on it. And there's another one in his shorts. Well, come here. What's in your shorts? Show me what's in your shorts. Can you? Come here. Yeah. Oh, See? You're bad, son. You and your mates. Okay? You hold him, I'll call on the cops. No, no, I'm no, having no, your no, charge. Mate, I'm a cop. Don't worry about it. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? What's this? Wrestling? I'm dying to see the wrestling. What have you got? Have you got basketball? No, I've got synchronised swimming. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Oh, excuse me, Donna. Um, could you fax this off for me, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. How are you, Maddie? Good morning. How are you? Cool. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi, Jack. Listen, uh, I spoke to Rebecca Farrell on the phone. Oh, the woman from Perth? Yeah, that's right. Make that victim number four. She was attacked. No weapon, but she was stripped and verbally abused also. Got a waterways meeting at 11, Helen. OK. Uh, EPA liaison officers coming at 12.30. Is that enough time? Yeah, no drama. Listen, she got back to Sydney this morning. She saw the guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Five foot nine to six foot one, 70 to 80 kilo. What's he, uh, brown hair. Yep. He also had a limp. OK, let's get her in and get a statement. See, my money's on, on Bobby LaRue. I reckon he's our best bet. But we need to put some pressure on him. I swam in Peru, 1,500 metres. I was really good. But um, my coach said I could go to Athens. The Olympics. But then we came here. Coaches are so expensive. So much money. Right, so that's why you've been stealing. My family says I can't swim because we don't have very much money. I have six brothers and sisters. Sometimes I can't pay the bills. I want to swim for Australia, but I just need money for a coach. I could coach you. Me? Yeah, five days a week and $20 a lesson. $20 a lesson? That's 100 bucks a week. You have unlimited potential. Soon you'll swim like a mermaid. Big well. You stole my money. I saw your swimming costume. It was so beautiful. I went crazy. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Just because you want something doesn't mean you can just go and take it it's from other people. Only small amounts from rich kids. No, wrong, wrong. Bad attitude. We will get nowhere with that attitude. Now I'm going to have to tell your parents, right? So I'll be a thief. Well, I only wanted to be a swimmer. Alex, Mrs. Munos is here. Let's go see your mum. OK, Miguel, your mum's going to take you home. She's going to search your room, and I hope for your sake she doesn't find anything else you've stolen. Right? OK, see you. Hi. 
Well, Stan Morrow just called. He said the facts that we'd sent him jogged his memory. He now remembers his attacker had a limp. The woman from Perth, Rebecca Farrell, her attacker had a limp as well. And didn't our friend Bobby LaRue say that he'd fallen off a ladder and he'd hurt himself? I thought it was his head, though. It was his head. It was his head. <laughs> Come on, shut up. What's the go? Get out of here. Oh. There. You like sneaking around the dark, do you, Bobby, eh? You like sneaking around the dark, do you, Bobby? Oh. Hey. What the bloody hell do you think you're doing? I spoke to the newspapers, I know all about this, but you stupid bastard! Stan! Stan! This is no way to go about it, Stan! I want you out of here! He's a hunter! It's him! I've hurt my leg! Stay out of it, Stan! Him! He's the one you want! I didn't do anything. I need the epilogue. Look, I'll get you some water. I need it now. I can't do anything, not today. I can't tell you nothing, not even the Prime Minister. We've got another one, okay? A girl named Vanessa Fong. Looks pretty bad, she's in hospital. A bus driver saw a guy leaving the scene about 15 minutes ago. He was with us. So this girl, was she on the list? Yes, yeah, she was. And she's only 13 years old. 13. She was on her way to school, walking through the park when someone came up behind her and smacked her on the back of the head. He didn't uh, say anything to her, but he just kept hitting her until she was unconscious. Was she right? No, but she thought she was going to be. She woke up naked in the middle of the park. That's, that's all she remembers. OK. Do you want to head on down the park to see what the crime guys have found out? I'm going to go and see Stan. OK. <laughs> How dare you do this to me? before I retire. Who's going to own up to this? You're gutless, a lot of you. Hey, Stan. Can we have a word? <laughs> I come in here this morning and find this. Yesterday's hero. That's what they think of me here. This is what I have to put up with. You hear about the young girl that was attacked? Yeah, I heard. First, you point your finger at Kevin Andre, then LaRue. But you haven't got a bloody clue who attacked you, do you? Because I read your report, and you were hit from behind. Your attacker stood behind you the whole time. So how did you know that he had a limp? And while you're pissing us around, wasting our time with LaRue, this 13-year-old girl gets her head bashed in. What are you going to do, man? You got two days left. Take some leave. Go sick. And I won't put in a complaint. Look, the hero of the month is passed on to the council uh, for the Citizen of the Year awards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, I'll show you. Look here. Renee Cook, staff writer, and fiancé hero John Wade attend Lewisham Council Citizen for Your Award. Fiancé hero? I mean, who is he? Uh, I don't know, but Renee's got all the information about the everyday heroes. John Wade's her fiancé, he fits our description, and he's on crutches. Good work. OK, I will see you later. I'll come with you. That's no, OK, I'll just ring Jack, he can meet me there. You sure? Yeah, I can handle it. What? Oh, don't ever take a poke at Mick. What? What are you talking about? You don't remember John Wade. Should we? About 18 months ago, fire in a house, two kids trapped inside. This guy goes in and gets the girl out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he goes back in and gets yeah. her brother out, right? Yeah. yeah. That's him. John Wade. For a few weeks, he was on more magazine covers and anorexic TV stars. You engaged this guy? Was. We split about six months ago. Not long after that was taken, actually. Why is that? I met him when all the hoo-ha was going on, you know? I was dazzled. I thought I was in love. I was wrong. OK, what's he doing on the, uh, on the crutches here? What's that about? A beam fell on his leg when he was getting the girl out. God knows how he got the boy. I don't think it'll ever nip properly. We're going to need his address, Miss Cook. John wouldn't hurt anyone. I know it. OK. You got it there? Thanks.
What, uh, what assaults? Ah, uh, there's been five so far. All from the local papers. Everyday heroes. Oh, I see. Renee sent you. No, no, we saw a picture of you and her in the paper. Here you go. Yeah, well, she doesn't understand. I don't think she ever did. That what? Well, being a hero, it isn't every day. See, I saved a couple of kids. I was on TV. Everyone knew me. It was probably the best time in my life. You know, two weeks later, some uh, actress ate some bad sushi. That bad bit of fish outsold my two kids by 30,000 copies. I was back to mowing lawns. So what happened between you and Renee? Well, I'd hurt my leg and I couldn't work. I had nightmares and trauma counselling. And of course, I wasn't famous anymore. But Renee, Renee helped me make a comeback. You see, dumping me made the front page. <laughs> so do you, um, do you want me to come with you? Yeah, yeah, we do. Okay, I'll, um, I'll just lock up. Hold your numbers up, chest high. How'd you go? Sorry. Is that the woman from Perth? Rebecca Farrell. Didn't recognise any of the voices. Right, Stan. Step forward, number one. Showing you what you are, you're nothing. Step back. Forward, number two. I've shown you what you are, you're nothing. Step back, number two. Step forward, number three. I've shown you what you are, you're nothing. Step back, number three. Forward, number four. I've shown you what you are, you're nothing. Step back. Forward, number five. That's it. I've shown you what you are, you're nothing. Number four. Back, you forward, sure? Number six. Positive. Look, I'm sorry to get you in, Stan. I'll, uh, I'll give you a call later and I'll fill you in. Mick, uh, tell the line-up they can go. Eh? You're letting him go? Well, I can't charge Wade, not on that. I gave you a positive ID. You also gave me a positive ID on Kevin Andre. Then you contradicted your own statement. Stan, we wouldn't even get to court on that, and you know it. Well, what'd you give me down here for? OK, there are seven everyday heroes left, right? They're all targets. You're our only decent witness. So if you tell me that it's John Wade, then are you being straight with me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm being straight with you. Are you sure he's got tickets to the basketball? I heard the fat controller talking yesterday. He was talking about tall men dunking and dribbling balls and how pointless no. it all was. I said no, Jack. I need security for seven people, Jack, that's all. I know how many people you want, Jack, but no. <laughs> you see that harbour out there? I've got 12 cruise ships on a 2,000 people on each boat, OK? I'm fielding 200 calls here a day. I've got concerns from the EPA. Yeah, okay. I'm all trying right. to run our normal because patrols. Because jet skiing's not an Olympic sport, that's You're why. You're on an exclusion zone. It's got to be enforced. <laughs> got to entertain no. the media. It goes on and on. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, Jack, I haven't got enough money for a puzzle game, let alone a surveillance operation. Right. This sicko just yeah. put a 13-year-old girl in hospital. OK, and I'll get the extra men. Hold on. Perhaps you could ring your local... You supply the D's. I I'll spot the rest. Okay, all right. Split shifts. I don't want the three of you tied up at once, all right? No. I won't have nothing to do with it, all right? Okay. I'll keep right out. But I'll tear it up for you and you take the first watch. Alex. Thanks, Donna. Okay, in here. Okay, give it up. It's the only one I ever kept. I slept with it under my pillow. And I give it back with an apology too. Good. Maybe I could present it in person. Um, <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Oh, please, he's my no, hero. No, you go. could arrange Come it. Up home. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Bye -bye. Michael. What? Get this. Grant Hackett, so. Look, well stole Grant Hackett's wallet. 
This is Grant Hackett. You know who Grant Hackett is? Yeah, I know who Grant Hackett is. I did a security job a while ago. I met him. He's a nice guy. All oh, right. You know Grant Hackett. No, him? Yeah, I took him pig oh. shooting. Rubbish. Grant would not shoot pigs. There's no way. Alex. No, mate, mate, no, I took him out of the narrow one. Greco Roman rest. Yeah. Well, what would you swap him for? I don't know, athletics maybe, the 400. Synchronised swimming could be something in that. Well, if I was to tell you that I could get my hands on a couple yeah. of these. He's a big fella. He needs some food. Okay, friend of the stars. Miguel wants to apologise in person, give him a note. You can organise that, can't you? Alex, it is one week before the Olympics. Oh, yeah, what happened to me and Grant Hackett like this? It's one week before the Olympics. Put up or shut up, Michael. and a cold vodka. Oh, lovely. Mind if I join you? Huh? Just kidding. Oh. Hey, you and Mick, um, seem to be working well together. Yeah, yeah. Well, why wouldn't we? He's gorgeous. Oh, yeah? Do you think? What are you up to? What am I up to? No, huh? what are you up to? No, what are you up to? What are you up to? And the woman's spending all that time together. What are Get you up to? Get out of here! What are you up Don't to? Don't worry! <laughs> Hey, hey. How's it going? Uh, nothing's going on. It's probably still in bed, you know. Yeah. Listen, our next shift's at 12, you know, you have to just let us know, eh? Okay. No movement? No. Ah, you want coffee? Got yeah. Coffee. Yeah, I've got coffee. You got any croissants? Oh, shut up. No, do you have any? No. Stop. So, 7.30's all right? What's that? You know, dinner. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Cool. Oh, I needed that stretch. Yeah, look, I wouldn't ask you, but uh, Peru. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. It. Oh, that'd be great, Grant. Sweet. Oh. Thank you. Say hi to Thorpe and Clint oh, for me, mate, eh? Mate, you See are ya. a toss pot. What? You didn't even say hi from me. What's well, going on? Well, you can on? say hi in person oh, when you meet shut him. Shut up. Look, there's no sign of Weird Wade. What is going on? I don't know, but he ought to be up by now. Yeah, I don't like this. Let's check it out. Come on. Let's go around the back. Alex! Forced entry. Mr. Wade! It's the police! Mr. Wade! It's the police! Jack Wade's gone. So where'd you find all this stuff? Some in the bedroom and in the back room. This contains the everyday heroes' phone numbers, addresses, maps, everything. We've alerted all the heroes, but there's nothing as yet, right? Now, his vehicle's still parked out the front. Right, what's happening with the local blokes? Well, Costas has got them in the local community. They're keeping a high profile, especially in target areas. So Wade's got to know we're on to him. See, I just don't understand how he got out. He was here when I left last night. He didn't leave willingly. OK, we took the shift at sunrise, so it must have happened before then, right? Now, the door's been forced in, so he got out of here while Costas was right out the front. So... All right, you want to check Stan Morrow's place? Thank I'll go you. to Lewisham Station. Stan Morrow walked into Wade's house, and he took him. And he did it while you were parked down the street. I never saw anything. Costas, listen to me. If you run on this, it makes you an accessory to a kidnapping. 
If you weren't, it makes you an absolute dickhead that doesn't even know how to watch a house. So which one are you? So last night, Senior Sergeant Myra relieved me of my surveillance for a few hours. I mean, I had the baby at home with, with Colin. Stan Morrow was on sick leave and you knew that. Look, with respect, sir, the Senior Sergeant felt that he'd been deprived of a proper role in the investigation, but he assured me he wanted to contribute to the arrest of his assailant. Do you want to get it? We should pull it. Yes, sir. Sir, I can't close it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I know where that is. Senior Sergeant Morrow wants Lewisham officers and meet him at Darling Street Wharf. All right, move along. There's nothing to see. Come and stand. No one's coming. Not Costas, not my people, no one. I wanted them to see this. This is nothing to be proud of, Stan. I got him. I got him. Not you, not Costas, me. I got him. You just shout all over a 40 year career, Stan. He's confessed. You know we can't use it. <laughs> just search his house to find the evidence. Here you go, now let him go. I want you to hear this, Jack. Hey! What are these? Star of courage. And? Cross of valor. And? Commissioner's commendation for courage. National medal. Tell me what I am. Tell him what I am. A hero, he's a hero. See that, Jack? And tell him what you are. Tell him! Nothing, I'm nothing. Get that, Jack? You're under arrest, Dan. So, you give me your basketball, Donna gives you a synchronized nice swimming. I have your Greco Roman wrestling. Are you sure this is legal, Quinn? I mean, I can't afford to get arrested That's at right. the gate. I checked, sir. It's fine, okay? Right. Are you sure it's not scalping? No, that would be illegal, sir. You realise you've just swapped $240 tickets for $235 ones, don't you? Come in, spinner. Quinn! <laughs> Vanessa Foley, the hospital said she's going to be fine. Oh, That's fantastic. good. That's yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, what time tonight? Uh, so? Uh, you know, dinner, the, uh, that Lebanese sort of, you know, smack and joint that your mate owns or whatever. Oh, look, it's not Lebanese. He's not a mate of mine. It's Italian. 738? Yeah, it'd be cosy, eh? Listen, I can show you the snaps. I got back from the holiday, got the big pineapple, I got the big prawn. Now, that'd be great, Jack. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Tell us what it comes to. Hey, Michael, 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 what is going on with Grant Haggard? Grant Haggard? Yeah. You piked it. Yeah, I knew. Too close to the games, right? Yeah, bludger. Last time I take him pig shooting. Where's the wallet? I mailed it to him. Oh, shit. Want to go for a swim? You don't even like swimming. Oh, who told you that? Hey, Michael, you don't mind my asking Jack along to dinner, do you? No, no, no. no it's, it's just dinner. Exactly, just mates, right? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, isn't that your mate, Miguel? Yeah, I thought he was banned. Hey, Miguel! Oh, my God. What? It's Grant Hackett. No, nah, it's not Grant, Grant Hackett. Hackett. Oh, hey, Miguel. Hey, you got something to do, remember? Grant, how are you, my man? Good, good mate. Yourself? Yeah, no, I've been well. Really well. Right. This is Alex. Hey, yeah, Alex, how are you? Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah. It's Miguel. Hey, Miguel, how are you? So, uh, you two go pig shooting. 
pig shooting. <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, anyway, look, I'll leave you with it, okay? Hey, you got something to do, alright? I appreciate this, Grant. No worries. We'll be over here. Nice to meet you. Sorry I took you a lot. And I'll give it back then and apologies too. Okay, so what do you swim? Um, freestyle. Okay, you wanna come show me? Yeah. Yeah! What are you showing me? <laughs> <laughs>